You probably see this little guy before. This is 2.8 DFT LCD. It's tiny, cute, and so up in almost DIY Roger. But for me, it's not enough. So today, I will talk about this giant, the 7 inch LCD. I got three of them right there. They look almost identical, but inside completely different interface FBI, MNC, and LTDC. So, which one is the real deal for your next project? Let's find out on this video. So, I got 3 7 in like there. Let's see how easy or difficult to make it work. To find out which one truly fits your net project, I will compare them in two experts. First, it is easy to implement or beginner friendly, and the second is performance. And about the microcontroller side, I will use the ATM32 A7. The A7 series is the high performance microcontroller from ST Micro Electronics. It can run up to 480 MHz and support the API, FNC, and LDTC well. You can also use any microcontroller you here like Arduino, ESP32. Plus, if you're looking for the high performance microcontroller for professional UI interface, I highly recommend the ATM32 A7. Now, let's start with the simple one, the API LCD. API is the same interface you find on the tiny display. Actually, I have a few LCD from 096 to 4 in and they all use the API. Just a few bin SCK, we'll see DC command reset. You can write it up in 10 minutes and your hello world will work instantly. And you don't need to understand about the LCD timing, the pixel lock. You just need to know about the IC controller of LCD. Just send the command and be so one by one over FBI library everywhere. You can use the Arduino library, ATM32 library, even Raspberry Pi, all support the API LCD. Now we will start with a simple step. How long is that to fill inside the 17 LCD with a single color? I will configure its API to run as 28 MHz. The display resolution is 1028 by 600 pixel. That's about 600,000 pixel, and each pixel that to buy in RGB 565 format. So in total, we boost in over 1 megabyte per frame through SPI. That will be a big challenge. Let's see how it works. It's takes about 100 milliseconds to fill the screen with a single color. What do you think? In my opinion, it is very low as you expect the smooth animation. But wait. You don't always need the high FPS since you play to play the video, right? So, let's see what happens when we run the basic LVGL UI on the API LCD. Here, I build the basic LVGL layout. The few button slider, you can see when I stop or move slider, there is slight delay before the screen update. That's because the LVGL needs to restore only the affected area. It's not instant but usable. So, in terms of raw speed, SPI is limited, right? Because it is the serial nature. But with a smart rendering, you can still build a responsive user interface. Not fast, but reliable, simple, and perfect for low power device. Okay, if you want more speed, you have to move beyond the API. So, next up, the FMC LCD. Parallel interface, small pin, and a whole lot more performance. Look at this connection and tell me what you think. This took me two hours to get it connected. This one looks intimidating, the younger acquire. So, FMC stands for flexible memory control, and instead of sending one by one piece at the time like FBI, FMC sends 60 bits in parallel every single lap. AMC behaves like the external RAM. After connection, you can write directly into the LCD memory. It's fast, direct, and efficient. So, let's check how fast it really is. And the result, just 28 milliseconds per frame, that over 35 frames per second. A massive improvement from API person. You can almost feel the zoom in space, 
The color of this uh, is stain and no visible flag. Unfortunately, my LCD is don't have the stuff function, so I can stay the basic every year for you. But at its current speed, I think MNC can display complex interface and animation well, easily maintain 30 to 60 FPS. So, MMC interface is not beginner friendly, but it can deliver invisible speed. If you are serious about building a smooth user interface, MMC is the joint word considering. But there are more level about the MMC, where is your microcontroller can stream the video directly into the LCD and no CPU overhead. That is the message of the LTDC. So now, the final level, the LTDC interface. Unlike the API or MMC, the LTDC doesn't just send the pixel. This is the display controller. And the setup for LTDC will be a bit difficult. First, you need the LCD and the RGB interface like this. And the second, your microcontroller will have the external SD RAM. The LCD become the part of the memory system and continue refreshed by the hardware, no CPU overhead. Now you can see the result, no display, no steering, just boost and continue video or boost on handle by the LTDC hardware. And one special feature of the LTDC is that you can use the Touch GFS to decide the user interface. Touch GFS is a framework software from ST Micro Electronics to design the user interface and get what Touch GFS support everywhere for the LTDC. You can also combine the LTDC with the DMA 2D. So, for example, I will use the Touch GFS to design the symbol game on the ATM32. It's called the memory game. The rules are very simple. You just need to remember the order in which is kill or the color is displayed. You will get one point after each row. A code. There will be a time limit set to complete. If you choose the wrong color or run out of time, the game will end. Let's see how many points I will get. Actually, I never cost more than 10 points in this game. So, we have complete the performance test between the API, MNC, and LTDC. Is the performance is your stock priority and you want to match the most user interface and the best possible user experience. So LTDC is the best choice, absolutely, no question about this. In other way, if you still want to match the smooth user interface but you don't want to configure the anti-drum, so the MNC is the best option. Finally, if your priority is a microcontroller with a limit memory, but you want to make the full user interface with the 7 in LCD and API in your option. I am loading the code on the description below. You can do this for 13. Now, API, MSC, and LTDC, what do you think?